From motorcycle club to criminal organization, that's what a federal official say happened to the Kingsman Club, prompting them to indict 16 members, including its national president. Good evening. The FBI says the club has been on its radar for years, but its investigation kicked into high gear after an execution-style double murder in North Tonawanda in 2014. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller digs deeper into this disturbing case. In August, 7 Eyewitness News cameras captured U.S. Attorney William Hochul walking out of a Kingsman Motorcycle Club as the FBI was conducting a series of raids. Fast forward seven months, now 16 members of Kingsman Motorcycle Clubs, including many chapters operating here in western New York, have been indicted in a major racketeering operation. We simply won't allow Western New York to be turned into any kind of haven for violent or criminal outlaw motorcycle groups. Members are accused of running drug and gun trafficking operations inside the club. They're also accused of carrying out several violent acts, including attempted murder and murder. Motorcycle gangs pose a serious national threat. They use their clubhouses as hubs for criminal activity. Andre Jenkins, one of the 16 indicted today, was convicted of shooting and killing two Kingsman members outside the North Tonawanda Clubhouse in 2014. Now authorities say the man who ordered that hit was Kingsman's president, David Perk, who told Jenkins to, quote, take care of it. The homicide, double homicides in North Tonawanda was definitely the spark that uh, ignited sort of a full-blown investigation. In August, after one of the raids, 7 Eyewitness News went exclusively inside one of the club locations in Delavan. We spoke with one member who did not want to go on camera. We're not going to give up our family because the government says that we're bad because we have a patch on. I would call this as an important first step, but by no means a conclusion of our investigation into the overall Kingsman motorcycle organization. Ten of the 16 members named in the indictment are from Western New York, and all but one are behind bars tonight. I'm live in the newsroom, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.